The iPhone 5s crashes will apparently be solved with iOS 7.1, says the spokesperson. The Google Nexus 5 might get additional color options, and SwiftKey may be making its way to the iPhone, um, sort of. I'm Jaime Rivera, and after a server crash and a lot of issues, I haven't had my first cup of coffee today, which is a record. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as those of you interested in getting the Sony Xperia Z1S on T-Mobile can now get it as of today. The phone is already available for $528 without a contract, but you could also get the $22 a month for 24 months installments with no money down, which is great. This is pretty much a Z1. It's almost the same phone. The only difference is one, obviously it's optimized for T-Mobile and two, it's made out of a plastic frame and not a metallic frame like you have on the Z1. And it was a really compelling phone as we saw at CES, so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about Nokia as the company has just sent us their press invitations for their event to happen at MWC 2014 in Barcelona. This is happening on February 24th and we will be there covering it live with Tony. Now this is really interesting. The question is exactly what are we getting at this event? We are expecting for the Nokia Normandy to be announced here since we heard that it was going to be launched on February 25th which is the next day, but we're also expecting the smaller variants of the Lumia 1520 as well, so stay tuned, as the 1520 is a cool phone, it's just too big. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google as we've got this video that's leaking the possibility of there being color options for the Google Nexus 5, and this is really interesting. Currently, all you have is black and white, but these six color options range from red to purple, which is good, it's interesting. It's great to have color options, we just don't know when these will be announced, if it is happening or not. And the reason why I say not is because the more you look at this video, the more it looks fake. It's kind of fishy, so uh, let's see what happens. I mean, with the whole Moto X thing, I don't know how Google plans to do that well. Now let's talk about Apple and SwiftKey. And uh, yeah, these two are coming together. We've got some leaks of SwiftKey coming to the iPhone and the iPad, but wait right there, it's not exactly what you expect. SwiftKey is my favorite keyboard on Android because I have multiple languages and it does a great job with text prediction without having to swap the languages. But interestingly, apparently the iPhone thing is not gonna work the same way. You know you can't install third-party keyboards on your iPhone. So apparently this will be a SwiftKey note-taking application um, and we are trying to understand what is going to be great about this thing especially because SwiftKey is not free on Android so let's see and finally for the I don't know what's taking them so long type of news of the day I don't know about you but I've been having serious troubles with my iPhone 5s resetting itself out of the blue it happens every time that I turn on Wi-Fi and the phone starts updating applications it'll reset itself for every app that it installs and well apparently a lot of people are having this problem up to the point where a spokesperson from Apple just came on record to state that iOS 7.1 will bring these updates, aside from some interesting UI changes and definitely some performance enhancements, though that leads you to the question of the day. After so many months using iOS 7, what has been your impression of the operating system? Do you like it, don't like it? Because in my particular case, I would consider this to be the most half-baked operating system that Apple has ever done. It is honestly terrible on the iPhone 5S. Ironic because it works better on the iPhone 5, but leave us a comment down below what's been your experience. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.